Welcome back to another BIMBOX Tech Talk. My name is Brad Clark, the Director of Technology and Innovation at ATG, and today I've got Mark Wigley with me, uh, and we're going to be talking about BIMBOX compared to other desktop systems, specifically gaming systems and workstation systems. And gaming systems is something that a lot of the clients, Brad, uh, that we talk to, you know, have legitimate questions uh, about, hey, why don't I just go get a gaming system? Um, and obviously there's a lot of uh, important uh, things to know about the differences. And so if you wouldn't mind, just uh, just cover, you know, what is important? Why, why is Binbox different than a gaming system? Sure. Uh, some of the main reasons that stand out in the differences between Binboxes versus gaming systems is their cooling and stability and also the aesthetics but also one that often gets missed or overlooked is the level of support so gaming systems are typically designed to really only run and perform really well for two to three hours at a time and then it ramps back down you know you check your email browse stream a couple of videos or view a couple of videos um, and they're not really designed to run for eight to 10 hours a day, five to seven days a week, all the time, like you would expect an AEC system to run. Um, the stability of them isn't quite as good as what you would expect from a professional level system. And then also the aesthetics. So what we're seeing a lot more recently with gaming systems is they've, you've started to see more and more of them have all of the bells and whistles. So RGB for, everything they've got glass side panels glass front panels um, and they look great for a gaming system but it's not necessarily something that you want on your desktop while you're at work uh, the other one that really gets overlooked is support so with support when you're looking at a, a gaming system what happens is a lot of those system builders are support wise set up to offer support to consumers and so it's a, you know a single person with a single system and they have a long queue of those people and there's not really priority of one system over another you just get thrown into the queue just like anybody else and that's oftentimes how they end up handling support for anybody whether it's a business um, you know whether you have five systems 20 systems 100 systems um, a lot of times the support is going to be significantly slower than with a professional setup, whether it's with Bimbox or you know anybody that provides workstations. Um, a lot of times repair times are anywhere from four, six, even eight weeks for gaming systems. And then obviously something that comes up all the time then is the converse side of that, which is, you know, oh, so I want to go get a professional workstation or I want to get a workstation, you know, uh, Lenovo is going to work for me, Dell's going to work for me. Can you talk about the subtle differences there? Sure. So workstations are most often utilize what are considered professional grade components. So you're looking at professional grade graphics cards, ECC RAM, Xeon processors, and they are workstation grade components. But when they say professional level components, what they're saying is that's for all professional industries. It is not specific to the AEC industry. And quite honestly, those those components aren't really geared towards a lot of the software that you see in the AEC industry. So for example, Revit, AutoCAD, Civil 3D, they highly focus on single core processing. So it doesn't matter how many cores you really have in your processor for those programs. It's more about how fast are those cores. Um, and so Xeon processors, you're not able to overclock them. They often have a much lower boost speed for them. Um, ECC RAM is typically significantly slower and it's not something you need for programs like Revit, AutoCAD, Civil 3D, Enscape, Twinmotion, any of those programs. Uh, and then same thing can be said for the graphics cards. So at Bimbox, uh, and we'll kind of get into this a little bit more here in a few minutes, um, but Bimbox uses consumer grade graphics cards because they're geared towards 
rendering real time in 3D, whereas the professional grade graphics card are geared more towards complex calculations. So if you're running simulations inside SolidWorks or you're doing computational fluid dynamics, those types of processes will leverage those professional grade graphics cards significantly more than they would from a consumer grade card. But if you're looking at 3D views in Revit, 3D views in AutoCAD or Civil 3D, Enscape, um, any 3D applications, those will leverage GeForce cards significantly more and they'll perform a lot better than the professional grade cards. So, so you've covered gaming system, you covered workstation. What makes Bimbox unique? Why does Bimbox stand out? So one of the biggest reasons why Bimbox stands out is we have people like me and yourself, Mark, that will hop on calls with customers to really understand what their workflows are. And Bimbox specifically builds each system tailored to each customer's workflow. So you know, we go through and ask, you know, what programs are you using? Are you using Revit, Enscape, Lumion, Twinmotion? Um, how big are your files so that we can really understand what components are required to give you the best system possible? Um, with that, we also overclock and delit our processors because we understand that most AEC 3D software is focused on single core processing rather than multi-core. Um, so it like, again, it doesn't matter if you have 16 cores, if they don't go that fast. We overclock our systems um, typically around 5.2, 5.3 gigahertz for the 12th generation processors. Uh, but that's so that, you know, our processors are geared specifically to AEC software and not just a blanket professional workstation solution for anybody and everybody. And you mentioned uh, the support side of that. Could you say just a word or two about how Bimbox support works? Yep. So, you know, Bimbox is not just a uh, what you would typically see from a custom gaming solution manufacturer. Uh, we are focused on the professional industry and we try to offer top tier professional level support. Um, so any any support tickets or anything that comes through to ATG automatically get transferred over to Bimbox and they're directly integrated into our support system. Um, you know, our, our typical first response time is right around 10 to 15 minutes for that. Um, and we do prioritize all of those customers you know if if you have a system that can only be down for a couple of days but we need to get it in for repair oftentimes we do have an option to send you a temporary system to keep you up and running it's not like with uh, you know a gaming system provider you have to wait for the rma to process and wait for the system to get sent in repaired tested um, all at the same time while it's in queue with all of the other customers that are ahead of you um, we don't do that. We try to focus on, you know, providing top tier support for professional customers. So, and obviously we're compressing a whole lot of information into a, a, a tech chat, but let's see where the rubber meets the road. So how do I know, how can I trust that the bin box is going to be the fit for me? Exactly. So, you know, and, and I'll let you talk about this a little bit, Mark, but one of the things that we try to focus on here at Binbox is not just having to sit here and converse with Mark or myself on a call and take our word for it on, on what the specs are actually going to do for you and how well they'll perform. Uh, we like to use data to really back up all of the claims that we're making and, and why we're pushing you to, you know, a, a Binbox solution and the specs that are a part of that specifically to be tailored to your workflows. Um, and so we have, the Revit RFO benchmark tool coupled with the ROI calculator. And Mark, I'll let you kind of talk about that a little bit. Well, and you have a great example there, uh, which shows some some key numbers. Uh, you're talking about, hey, if I'm going to spend $2,500 more on a bin box, I want to make sure it's going to give me that ROI. We don't just tell you trust us. We allow you to go ahead. We've, we've made the RFO benchmark. Uh, it's on the Binbox USC website. It's on ATG's website. You can go get it very quickly and run it on your system. It will print out a report for you uh, in a text file, which then you can easily put into uh, an Excel file, the uh, ROI calculator, and 
you can tailor it to your results, i.e. you can put in, hey, what is our uh, hourly billable, right? So what is uh, the time that we're typically doing these uh, Revit Civil 3D workflows? And then it's going to spit it out the bottom and increase in rate. And at the bottom of that, you're going to get a dollar figure. So if you read that that uh, point in green, 85% of Binbox clients realize an ROI of, of 20K first year, uh, that's phenomenal, right? And so, but we want you to, to test it. We want you to try it. So you can get that from our website, download it yourself. If you need help with the ROI calculator, we can do that. But we want to show you just how much increased productivity you can be getting with a BIM box. Exactly, exactly. And if customers, you know, have any questions or concerns or are interested in BIM box and learning more about it or, you know, looking at it as a possible solution, they can always reach out to us, um, either their local ATG rep um, or they can reach out on the BIM box website. There's a contact us form that they can use to reach out to us and we'll get something set up to to address any of your questions or concerns. Hey there, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of the other content on our channel.